In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the Brother MFCL2710 DW all in one laser printer. And I'll be showing you how to set it up on a Windows computer, a Mac, and a mobile device. I'll also be doing a separate review video for this printer. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so you're notified as soon as I upload that video. And if you're already subscribed, please make sure to click on that bell icon so you receive notifications as soon as I upload new videos. Now the easiest way to get this printer out of the box is to place the entire box on the floor and then lift it out onto a table or surface which is what I'm going to do. But do bear in mind that the printer does weigh about 30 pounds and you need to be able to safely place that weight on a table. For now I've just opened up the box and let's see what's inside. Removing this foam shelf on the right hand side reveals the package with the toner and next we find the documentation package which contains the quick start guide, the CD with drivers and other software and a few other pieces of documentation. And next you have the phone cable for a fax line. Let's then pull these two pieces of foam out of the box and now it's time to get the printer itself out of the box and as I mentioned earlier you want to grab the printer by these handles on the side, carefully lift it out and place it on a table. And then you can also remove the plastic bag that covers it. Let's now get rid of the packing tape and protective plastic. Let's start with the two pieces of tape in the front and the three pieces of tape on the right hand side and the two pieces on the left hand side. Then open the flatbed scanner and remove the thin plastic film covering it. Then lift the upper hinge, press down on the two buttons to the left and right of the top surface to open the cartridge compartment and then remove the last piece of packing tape and leave this compartment open. We're going to come back to it in a second. Then peel open the foil pack with the toner then you want to remove this piece of orange plastic from the toner by unhooking it from one end of the toner and then unhooking it from the other end of the toner. You can now get rid of this piece of plastic. To begin installing the toner, make sure the green brother sticker is facing outwards and that the embossed plastic brother logo is facing upwards. Insert the toner in this way into the compartment and push firmly till you hear a click. Then close the compartment door and close the upper hinged lid. Time to load some paper in the printer. Pull the paper tray open and remove it from the printer. Open the paper alignment tabs on the inside of the tray to their maximum position by pressing on these green tabs. Insert the paper into the tray and readjust the alignment tabs to match the size of your paper and then reinsert the entire tray into the printer. If you plan on using the fax feature, now is a good time to plug your phone line into the line port and your handset into the extension port. And these are both located in the back of the printer. Though this video covers the wireless setup of this printer, you do have two wired options. You can connect it directly via USB to a single computer or connect it via RJ45 cable to a network. And the setup method for both wired and wireless is pretty much identical, except for the part where we'll be doing some wireless setup. And I'll leave links below to the ethernet cable and the USB cable that you'll need if you choose to go the wired route. And now you can plug the printer into a wall outlet and then power it on by pressing down on the power button in the top right hand corner of its control panel. And you'll notice that the printer begins to boot up. At this point, the quick start guide asks you to do the rest of the setup on a computer or mobile device. This will make your life much harder going forward. So I recommend ignoring this advice and doing one additional setup step to make your life a little easier. To do this, press the menu button and then use the up and down arrows to scroll through the options till you get to the option called network. Hit the OK button and use the up and down arrows again to scroll to the option called WLAN or Wi-Fi, press the OK button and then press the OK button again on the setup wizard option. Then press the up button to enable Wi-Fi. It then locates all the available networks. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through and find your Wi-Fi network. Hit OK to select the network and then it wants you to enter your network key which is just your Wi-Fi password. Use the keypad on the right to do so. And just a tip, you can use the ask and hash symbols to find special characters. When you're done, 
Press OK and then press the up button to begin connecting to the Wi-Fi network. And then it lets you know that it is now connected. Hit OK and then hit the back button a couple of times to get out of that setup menu. And you'll notice that the Wi-Fi light is green and stays on. And this is all the setup that you need to do on the printer itself. I'll show you how to do the rest of the setup in three different ways. First on a mobile device, then a Windows computer, and finally on a Mac. Now, if you only plan to print to this printer from your mobile device, there's really no more setup to do. You should now be able to find this printer in your list of printers and print to it from any app. However, if you want to use the other features on this printer, like say scanning, I highly recommend downloading the Brother Eye Print and Scan app. And to do this, go into the App Store and search for Brother Eye Print and Scan. And in the results, you'll notice the Eye Print and Scan app and tap Get to begin downloading it. Once it's done downloading, tap Open. Next, it asks you to agree to the terms and conditions. Scroll down and hit OK. And then it asks you whether you'd like to select your device tap select now and then hit OK. In the list that appears, select the printer that we just installed. On the screen that follows, tap the little cross on the top right hand corner. And the app is now set up. You can print to this printer, scan from it, preview photocopies, send faxes, and even change machine settings. So to set the printer up on a Windows computer, go into the bottom left-hand corner and click on the Start button. Then scroll up and click on your settings. And when the Settings menu opens up, click on Devices. And in the menu bar on the left-hand side, click on Printers and Scanners. And then click the plus button next to Add a Printer or Scanner. And it searches for available printers. Printers. And once it's done that, it should locate your printer, which is the Brother MFC L2710DW. Click on that and then click Add Device and give it a few seconds. And after a few seconds, once it's completed adding that printer to your list, you'll notice that this printer now appears in your list of printers and scanners. And at this point, if you're just planning to print to this printer, this is all the setup you need to do. It's ready to use. However, if you want to use scan, and other features, you'll have to download the Brother Eye Print and Scan app. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Open up a browser window and type in support.brother.com. Hit enter. And once that page opens up, click on downloads and then click on the little icon that says monochrome laser fax MFC and then scroll down that page to locate the MFC L2 series. Click on that. Let's find our model number, which is MFC L2710DW. Click on that. And in the next window, select your OS. In my case, it's Windows 10, 64 bit. Click OK. And then scroll all the way down the page and click on Brother Eye Print and Scan. Then scroll down that page again and then click Agree to the End User License Agreement and Download. And you'll notice that a download begins on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Wait for that file to to download and once that finishes downloading double click on the downloaded file to run it and you'll notice that a new window has opened up in that window click the checkbox that says i agree to the license terms and conditions and click install give it a few seconds to download and install the software and once it's done with that it'll let you know that the installation was successfully completed you can click launch to open the app up it again asks you to agree to the terms and conditions I'm going to click I agree and then click OK. And once the app opens up, you can select your machine by clicking on the select your machine button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Click on that. And as you can see in this list, you'll notice the printer that we just installed, which is the MFC L2710DW. Click on that. Click OK. And you can now see that the printer is available for use. You can now print documents to it and even scan documents from it. The app also allows you to adjust machine settings if you choose to do so. And this is really all the setup you need to do on a Windows computer. Your printer is now ready to use. So to begin setting it up on a Mac, go to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and find System Preferences. Click on System Preferences. And when that opens up, click on the Printers and Scanners option. 
And once that window opens up, click on the plus sign, the little plus sign, on the bottom left hand corner of this window. And this opens up a window of available printers. And since we did that network setup earlier, you should be able to see your printer on this list, which is the MFCL 2710DW series. Select that. Leave everything else as the default selection. Make sure that it is selected air print on the bottom and then click add. And and once that's done, you'll notice that this printer has been added to your list of printers. And since this machine has a fax, it's also added a fax to the list on the same machine. Now, if you're just looking to print to this device, this is all the setup you need to do on a Mac. However, if you're looking to scan or make copies or send faxes, I highly recommend downloading the Brother iPrint and Scan app. And let me show you how to do that. You want to go and find your App Store icon either in your launcher or on the bottom in the dock. So click on the App Store. Once the App Store opens up in the search bar on the top left hand corner, search Brother iPrint. And as soon as you do that, you'll notice that the Brother iPrint and Scan option appears in the search results. Click on that and then click on the app and click Get to download and install the app. And this does take a few seconds to complete. And once it's done downloading, click Open to open the app up. And you'll notice that once the app opens up, you can select your machine by clicking the Select Your Machine button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And you can see that the printer that we just installed is on that list. Click on that, click OK. And as you can see now, the printer is ready to use. You can now print to it or scan documents from it. You can also alter various machine settings. And this brings us to the end of the unboxing and setup of the Brother MFCL 2710DW. If you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. If you found this video useful, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments about the video, please leave me a comment below. And as I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a full review of this printer. So please subscribe to stay tuned for that full review. Thanks for watching and see you next time.